and these lectures will come as audios with slides, picture slides. This is called PowerPoint. And then there will also be a provision for a tutorial. You may receive a message on your Moodle platform asking you to log in into a tutorial. And this will be after you've listened to the lecture and then the lecturer arranges a tutorial. You will actually see the lecturer as you're seeing me and you'll be able to ask some questions about things which you are not clear about. Okay? And if you say, well, what about when I don't have bundles? What about when there's no power out, there's power outage? So these uh, videos remain on the platform. And if you didn't attend, a friend of yours attended, you can download these materials later and you can have a discussion with your friend about it. The practical, similarly, you will receive a message. There's a practical taking place. You'll be able to watch a technician do a particular practical and you will be asked to provide a practical report. Now, as you go along, um, you will have access to myself, to the heads of departments. Uh, we usually will post our phone numbers on the site and you can always call us to, if something's not clear to you, so we'll guide you along the way. So um, you shouldn't worry. It is a very, very easy and enjoyable way of learning uh, the medical course. Now, I know that I've said a lot of things and you might not remember all the things that I've said, but the key things that I've said is that uh, the course that we teach, especially when you're starting for the first time, is a new and interesting course. It'll help you to understand how the body works and how a doctor can correct the problems in the body. So this is just how to start learning to be a doctor. And as you go along in, after the first semester, you will have some assessments along the way. You need to be getting 50% uh, marks in all the courses, at least a minimum of 50%. Um, each course, each exam that is done during the, the semester period is what is called continuous assessment. And at the end of the semester, you will have a final exam that will make up 60% of the marks. In total, taking your 40% continuous assessment and your final 60%, you should be able to, you get 100, the total is 100, and you should get a minimum of 50% to pass. In the medical school, in all the medical schools, we require students to know at least 50% of the material they have taught, they have learned in all the courses. If you don't get 50%, uh, in all the courses, you will not be able to proceed to the next year. This is because of the importance we attach to treating people, to being a doctor. You have to know enough information to be able to save lives. So if you fail any course, you will have to repeat all the seven subjects. And we know that uh, students always complain about... Um, failing, uh, having to repeat so many courses in spite of failing only one course. Now, the way that we design the teaching and training is such that we support you along the way. And if you have any difficulties, we guide you through it. So a, a student who is very devoted and quite committed is very likely to pass. Um, so in summarizing all I have said, I want to thank you for applying to the University of uh, Lusaka School of Medicine and Health Science and reassure you that it is one of the best programs you could ever join in Zambia as well as in the world. So I hope this uh, short video has been useful. Uh, we will leave, leave our contacts for you. If anything's not clear, you can always contact us. And as I said, we usually encourage uh, groups to have a class or a group representative and to set up a WhatsApp group for all the various courses so that that way you're in touch with your lecturer, you can post some questions uh, and uh, the lecturer can respond. So I'm wishing you all the best in your studies. Remember that uh, we are like your parents in a way. <laughs> we are like your parents or your guides along your academic path. So feel free to get in touch with us to ask us any questions that uh, you want to ask. There are no questions that are silly.
So you can always pick up the phone and call me. You can pick up the phone and call any of the heads of departments. You can send us an email. You can send us a WhatsApp. And we'll always be willing to help you out, to explain something that's not clear, and to help you along the path as you begin this exciting career of becoming a doctor. Thank you very much and bye-bye, all the best.